Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today is two days after Easter and I'm going to show you how to make ham and bean soup with the leftover bone from your ham. So we're going to soak our beans first, I'll show you what to do and then we'll get started. The first thing you want to do is open your beans, put them in some type of a strainer and pick through them to take out any ones that are split, discolored or any stones that you may find. Once you get that done, rinse them off really, really well. I only used one package of the Great Northern Beans and I have gone through and taken out all of the discolored ones. There were no rocks. And the recipe I'm using comes from the Oregon State Extension and I will put that link in the description for you to be able to follow. I do not do any type of what is called rebel canning. I use strictly what has been tried and true and approved methods. So we're going to go ahead and rinse our beans. This recipe says to add water two inches over the beans in a large sauce pot. Bring it to a boil. Simmer it for two minutes. Remove it from the heat and then let it rest for an hour. So that is our soaking method that we're using, okay? Once your beans have soaked for the hour, you're going to want to drain them, rinse them off really well, and then put them back into your pot. Now the instructions say to cover them with water again. I have frozen ham stock that I made a while back so I'm going to use two pints of this and then just add whatever water is needed. Along with that I'm going to add in my bowl of vegetables. I have just a half a stock of celery, some carrots, onion, and just a little bit of garlic. We're going to put this on the stove and then let it simmer until the beans start to get soft. And then at that point is when we're going to can them. In my pot, I have my ham bones that still have some meat on them. I have my broth, carrots, onions, celery, and then my beans are on the bottom. And there's only about two inches, three inches of water over top of the beans. So it's not a whole lot. And if you feel you need to add more water as it cooks, go ahead and do so. But we're going to turn this on and then let it simmer for approximately two hours. When the two hours is up, you're going to take your ham pieces out, get all of the meat off of them, and then return that meat back into the pot. Our soup is ready to be put in the jars. And over here, we're getting our jars hot right now. I don't know if I'm going to get a full canner load of this or not, but we'll see. So whenever you're canning soup and it's hot like this, you want hot jars with hot soup. Our jars just came out of the canner. They are hot. We're going to put our funnel on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill our jars half full with just our mixture. We're not going to put any juice in yet. Okay, just the beans and the meat and the vegetables. We're only going to fill them halfway to start with. This is the first time I have done this recipe, so we're going to see how many jars we get out of this. It'll be a good determinant to know if next time I need to double the recipe or not. But for us, we're a family of three, so this will be enough for the three of us to eat for a meal. It looks as though we're going to get three quarts and one pint of this. What you want to do after you get your beans in halfway up, you want to fill the rest of it with your broth that you have that's nice and hot. And you're going to take that to the one inch headspace, which is this bottom ring here. And that's all the more you want to fill it. That gives it air space for the beans if there's going to be any more expansion to do that and let everything cook properly. Once your jars are filled, take a knife, run it down through on the sides to make sure all of the air bubbles are out. Do that with each jar. 
You don't want any air pockets. Now since we are using a pint, we're still going to have to process this pint at the 90 minutes as well because we're mixing batches. Since we are using a meat product in here to can in our soup, we are going to take white vinegar and go around the rims. And these jars are very, very hot, so please make sure you don't burn yourself. But you got to get all of that residue off of the edge here, otherwise you won't get a good seal. And you don't want to go through all this work to not get a good seal. Yeah, the ham in here leaves an oily residue, so you just want to make sure you get all that off. Okay, once you, have, once you have finished that, you're going to put your lids on. And then you're going to take your rings and just finger tight. You don't want to crank them down, just finger tight. And then once you're done with this, use your jar lifter and put them into your pressure canner. My jars are in the canner. I have the appropriate amount of water in there along with the tray that goes on the bottom. Now all we need to do is put our lid on and let it vent for 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes just started. You can see the steady stream coming out. And that's just, just gonna release all of the air that's inside the canner. Once our 10 minutes is over, we're gonna put our weights on. Our timer just went off for our 10 minutes of venting, so we're going to put our weighted rocker on. And we're going to let this build up to the 15 pounds of pressure for our altitude. We don't start our 90 minutes until this starts to do like a slow rock like that. Okay, then we'll start our 90 minutes. Our weight has started to rock. And we're going to wait till it just stops. So we're going to wait just a second till it gets back up to rocking again. Okay, so now we're going to set our timer for 90 minutes. Our timer just went off. So we're just going to turn the stove to the off position. And we're not going to touch anything. This has to completely cool down. And this right here has to be level with the pot. This piece is level with the pot, so that means we can now take off our weights. So we're just going to lift that straight up. Now it's time to take out our jars. These are our four jars of ham and bean soup. And we're going to let these sit for 24 hours and then we will put them on the shelf. So thank you for joining us today and have a great afternoon.